This post-match report is proudly brought to you by Complete Sports Management, More Footy, Less Admin and Stat Guru, When Numbers Matter. Alright, so we're here with the Round 10 summary for the Burundara Hawks vs Ivanhoe game. Uh, we're at Baldwin Park where Ivanhoe have run out 22 point winners. So here with Jeremy Dixon, he's the assistant coach for uh, the Burundara Hawks. Um, unfortunately they've had a, another tough loss today. Um, it's become a little bit of a theme, you've been, been very competitive, been really strong in the games but haven't been able to finish it off on the scoreboard. Yeah, we're sick of honourable losses. It's um, week in week out, same story. We're, we're very solid around the contest. We work really hard, we're a good ferocious tackling side. Um, we've got a lot of private school boys that play two games a weekend and with holidays we just can't get our, it, it's often a case of our best 22 and more often than not our best forwards uh, playing elsewhere or yep. travelling around Europe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah like, uh, like you just said, your pressure um, is fantastic. I, I've got that written down as a point here. Um, your pressure around the contest was really fantastic all day. Um, and yeah, you really made really made Ivanhoe earn it around around the contest and all around the ground as well. Um, and I'm sure that that's something that if you keep working at it, um, hopefully you'll get some results coming up soon. Um, a couple of individual performances I'd like to touch on. Um, Oliver Dixon, uh, 29 touches, kicked a goal as well. He actually had uh, four scoring shots. Unfortunately, three of them he managed to hit the post. Um, pretty incredible. Uh, thoughts on that? Yeah, well, I think we had a chat before and said we don't normally hit the post three times in a career, let alone three times in an afternoon. So, yeah, so four goals would have been nice. Yeah, it would have uh, certainly made a big difference to the scoreline. Um, another one was Joseph Palambieri. Um, he was really lively up forward, kicked a goal, had another couple of shots as well, and yeah, just around that 50 arc, um, he was a really good presence for you there. Joe's really good. He's very quick. He's only come back the last couple of games because he plays school footy and look, he's great. He's hard, good ground ball work and a pretty good finisher. Yeah. And and quick, which makes a big difference. Obviously puts defenders under pressure. It does, it does. It's fantastic. All right, thank you very much for your time, Jeremy. Uh, we'll be back soon with the interview with the Ivanhoe head coach. All right, so welcome back here to Baldwin Park. We're with the Ivanhoe head coach, Rick Daniels. Uh, his side's just had a really good 22-point win. Um, for them, it was really set up. They had a really strong midfield today. Um, really good performances by their boys in there. Are you happy with how they performed today? Yeah, midfield were good. They were tough. We, we went um, with pretty solid blokes to start. We thought we... Small ground, we knew the Winston contested footy, and I thought that was the, the springboard for most of the day. It was good. They kept us in steed all day, so they were good, those guys. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, you contested footy. Um, yeah. the, the Hawks put a lot of pressure on you around the contest, yeah. but, yeah, the bigger bodies in there were certainly able to extract the footy for you. Yep. Um, Max Dreyer in particular, 30, 33 touches. Um, yeah. he had, there was one passage there through the third quarter where he had four clearances in a row and yeah. put in a really strong performance around the ground. Yeah. Was able to cap it off with a goal. Are you happy with how he went today? Yeah, Max, he's been tremendous. He's um, been good because only three or four weeks ago got invited and put on the Knights list. So that's through his performances here and also for school. So he deserves that. And you can see the way he's playing. He's playing very confident footy. And uh, he was tremendous today, probably our best player. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, the other one down back, Tom Williams, um, took your kick outs um, and had 20 touches around the ground as well. You're pretty happy with his game? Yeah, Tommy was good. Yeah, he was good. That's his role. His, his role with the side now is to be the kick in, the general down the back and be the goalkeeper. And he played the, will, the, the role pretty well today. So yeah, he was good. Probably his best game for the year. Yep. And the other one, um, Sakio through the middle. Um, he, he was another one. He had 30 touches. Yep. Um, kicked a goal late on to, I probably thought, seal it. Um, yep. Burundara, they kind of dropped their heads a bit after that. And yep. yeah, he was a really, really strong presence around the ground for yeah, you. Yeah, he's a very hard boy and yep. uh, he's a very good size for this type of footy. And uh, it was good to have him in the side today. And uh, yeah, he was tremendous. And uh, yeah, he was, he was very happy with the performances as we were. So it was good. Yes. Beautiful. Yep. All right. Thank you very much for your time, Rick. Uh, this is Thomas wrapping it up for CSM here at Baldwin Park. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.